Right, so we are what? Half an hour in. Oh, finally it works. Now we got to pray that it actually works in the cutscenes. Like, in terms of actual streaming and not lagging you guys out. It's a seagull! Bruh. It's a seagull! For anybody watching the VOD on YouTube right now, I know I'm talking over a cutscene, but we've just spent the last half hour before you're watching this trying to fix the goddamn game. US mail. Hopefully sounds all right. Mafia. <laughs> Andrew Bongiorno as Tommy. Jeremy Luke as poorly. Don DePetta as Sam. Glenn Taranto as Don Salieri. Stephen Oliver as Frank. Bella Popper as Sarah or Popper. Ward Roberts as Ralph. Oh, he's got a chrome car. Paul Tassone as Vincenzo. Robert Catrini as Luigi. Saul Stein as Don Morello. What, what fucking voice was that? It's a train. Damien Clark as Detective Norman. Oh, Mac, actually. Hey, Tommy. Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, uh, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, that's yours. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Ask uh, want money, some sort of immunity. 
None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. No one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. An offer you can't refuse. 1930. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts. When I first met Polly and Sam. Okay, this got exciting. There's the pew pew guns. Oh, shot a tire out. Oh, he's in GTA. Son of a bitch. Watch out. Get up, Polly. There's a taxi here. We'll be okay. Move it. Come on. We're through. Anywhere. Fast. You got it. I got a gun to be honest, I'm going to quickly turn the sound up because it's quite quiet. Up to eight. At you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell did they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just got to lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now, but there'll be more. Hold tight, I'm gonna try some. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, uh, okay. Your leg okay up there? It hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know, it might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. By the way, it sounded alright for everyone, because I turned up, but I don't know whether it's still quiet or fine. Tommy sounds like Lord he's going to fuck like today. Nice bit of a run. Some shortcuts that'll slow him down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake him off. Oh, shit. That was your shortcut? I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them. 
These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. More he knows, more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. We ain't clear yet. Keep driving. I go down. Okay. More bastards digging the road for the works program aren't gonna thank us for this. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Four, five, maybe. If I with him, he's called for more. Sure feels like it. Next Whoa, time no. we take more muscle. We should have expected trouble. The boss hears about this, they'll be out of pain. Fuck off, you bitch! <laughs> no. Shoot him, you idiot. You have a gun. He said what thing? Nah, bro, you're dying in about 10 seconds. Fucking car. Jesus. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, you don't. Fuck off. Oh, my Jesus. The steering in this fucking game is already a problem. There we go. It's thrown. Nope. There's more and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Oh, I'm fucking dead. West Harbor Bridge cabby fast. I'm going as fast as I can, bro. This cab is not made for speed. Oh yeah, how about that? Uh, the bridge is up, man. It. Yeah, we can make it. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Woohoo! Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. I'm going, bro. I mean, my cab is shot up to shit, though, so can we just I didn't see this coming. get reimbursed? squealed. I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Right, look, look what they did to my fucking car. Close. Pull over in front of that bar. To the Aries place. Yeah, that's the one. Nice. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not?
Why is he in slow motion? Oh, because... Oh. Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Ooh. Don doesn't forget his friends. I'm a Don, friend with Don. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. Good friends with the Don. See you around, kid. See you around, bro. I think I might turn the sound up a bit more. Still feels quiet. I open the envelope. I could have had a heart attack. Oh my god. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Ah, oh, Storm! 100 bits, thank you very much! To anyone who's played this game before, I cannot wait until we stop the last player at one mission. If you know, you know. Oh god. Thank you for the 100 bits, Storm. Hope you're doing well today. Don't know why it's taken that long to come through on the notification. Running Man, in Map Dance. And I, I think After I'll that be... bag with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Right. Driving, ma'am. Always driving. All right, we're going to go up one more. We're going to go up to nine. So where to? That's a bit bad. St. Michael's Church. Directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. That's much better. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Calm down. I'm just trying to make conversation. Why have we stopped? So just quickly, I'm trying to just get the volume right here. I'm sorry for anybody watching this, either the VOD or Atlas. I'm just trying to get my volume to try. Come back this <laughs> instant. <laughs> I thought it was like GTA where he's the horn button. Sorry, ma'am. Get out of the road! Jesus! Dilla! 
It is the police. What do you mean I won't get it? I won't because I can get out of the car. Yeah, fair. Stop there. By the park. Okay, calm down. Here you go. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. Give me my fucking money. These Italians are all the same. Can't drive without the radio. Better find a new fare. Woman! Out of the road! Get over with your car, if I... Always. If I see her again, I might. Because she was a bit racist. Hello, officer. Honk your horn at me all you want. Ah, I hear someone call for a taxi. Excuse me, sir. Please step into my taxi. Where would you like to go? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please shut the door. Art gallery. Give me a quick. Sure. Quick, I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive. So do that. Sir, please calm down. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day's gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Pull up in front of the gallery. Thanks, pal. There's 50 cents. I'll spend it all at once. Oh, 50 cents. I'll try not. Lovely, thanks. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. That police car carried on. Okay, the camera is quite sensed. Oh, there's a fair up here, apparently. How are you doing, sir? Where to? Oh boy, you look like shit. Well, fuck I've you. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Bulls. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. 
who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason <laughs> no, I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen go at the guys. <laughs> yeah, so no woman. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <laughs> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Oi! Give way! The Great Depression. When some twonk on Wall Street decided to fuck up this. Nothing happened, officer. Done it, done it, done it. The lovely stock market crash, which then effectively fucked A, the whole country, B, the whole world, because by that point, it was just after World War One. so... Well, well, not just that, but ten years after World War One, but because uh, of how much armament they sold to Britain, France, and all the good guys—not the good guys, all the allies in World War One—they uh, they were effectively the most uh, economically moneyed in the world. So, effectively, the whole the whole world economy relied on America. My cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Lucio? Oh, let's break it down. Let's just do that. So I'm taking a break now. Oh, with a nice coffee cup. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Who the fuck are you? Yeah? Oh, what the fuck? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. The fuck? Whoa, go! The motherfuckers are shooting at me! Fucking run, fucking run, hell. Seventeen, seventeen, seventeen. Ah, fucking run, fucking run. Uh, fucking go. <laughs> fucking hell, this is fucking intense. It's like fucking running away in the moon. Fucking hell. Get down, sir. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, I've been hit by a car. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Oh my God. Okay then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. We definitely saw which side had the biggest schlong on the table there. Hey, thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. 
Is that the Don? It's a lot thinner. That's two chapters down already. Molotov party. Sounds like my kind of... Oh, that's the Don. I was expecting him to look a bit more like that. Because you know that Chiblum in... Yeah, classic. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Oh, how kind. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. Thank you. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Damn. So we're getting, we're getting into it now, chat. We're like... No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? This is Tabby. We're helping him out. Hi. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah. Possibly. Your job that easy. I hate sitting around. Boring as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? Mm -hmm. I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think? Well, I first of all, you you like a rip off Clark Kent, Carlo. motherfucker. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyway, <laughs> I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. No, give me a mini first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. Oh Jesus Christ! Here we go. Thank you, because I was gonna say, I might have decent eyes, but I ain't reading that. Letter to Salieri from. G. Romano, Atlantic Import Export Company, Lost Haven. Il Lost Haven. I L. Illinois. One great state, my favorite state. I'm British and I like Chicago, okay? Leave me alone. Don, Sal Don Salieri, I'm writing you to let you know of my joy to hear that you'll be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there are any further arrangements you wish for, let me know. It will be a wonderful day, and for the world to see that the occasion has your blessing, you will make it even more special and memorable. Your loyal friend, Giovanni Romano. What's he do? Find anything good? Go see him whenever we yeah, need to I, do any, uh, I'm watching you. Heavy lifting. Got it? Maybe Sorry. I get it. With Paul. When there's trouble. But that don't mean you're good with me or anyone else. I'll fuck you up, bro. What a bullshit day. You got some kind of problem? You like this? It's more where it came from. But Don's graceful for your business. So we're grateful for his dough. But we gotta go. Long drive back. Oh, the wooden stair sound. Bagona Vitenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Benny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. 
Oh, I got just the thing. Wait. This classic should do Ooh. the trick. <laughs> hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> To me, what, do I get what storm? Let me know if Paul gives you the hard time. Can I have a bat? No, okay, fine. Give me a second. Can I come back here? Come back and see if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a gat. Dime detected. Oh la la. You can look around, sure, but Martin leaves the room. It won't. Bookkeeping Not write offs. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't okay, Tommy, the way you're walking down these stairs is a bit disturbing. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey. Hey, genius! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Poor Get guy. Oh. <laughs> Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> Poor see, guy. See, you're still a limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, sure, sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a cracked egg. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Fucking hell. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cap. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick's a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Oh, shit, yeah. Morello. It's the buddies. You got cars, you got a torch. He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. As long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. If you want a bottle, just ask. Keeps them back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. Who us? You got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food. Skirt, some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. <laughs> Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. So, in fact, the reason why they're talking about whiskey in the White Lot chat is that it's still during the time of Prohibition in America, when alcohol was banned, so they were just illegally, all the gangs were illegally moving it about the place and exporting it. Also, I've just realised my overlay, my top bar of my overlay, is just perfectly placed, so it's just above where the objective is.
I mean, I'm just excited to see where this goes, to be honest. Sorry. Get on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. You got to bait it. You got, you got to bait it. You got to bait it. Really, Matt? Ch 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 bait it. Ch 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 bait it. In the middle of a flipping cutsy, in the middle of a bit of a talking section. Yeah, you were allowed to buy it, but not yet. Besides, you're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town. You start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Yeah, Matt, I will admit, uh, it took like. A minute and a half of Storm's bit donation to appear on screen, even though it happened. So I think notifications are just being okay, really slow today. By. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. Come on! Over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. And the message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Oh, fucking thanks. Okay. Go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, like that. He's got his name, guys. Oh, we got some sneaky sections. No one sees our heads. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. We're real good at distracting. Best Garage thing. roof. Get the money I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri duck guys all over town trying to get my Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna get him, chat. Dino makes you cart the car? Just like that. <sighs> Make some noise. Let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. The weapon wheel. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> no one's driving that again. Ah, oh, crap. <clears throat> hey, get away from the car. Come <clears throat> back up there, <clears throat> time. You got some kind of death wing. Jeez, that hurts. Oh, oh, like that. Come on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Okay. Love your work. Love the smell of burning paintwork. Whole block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? No way to keep it. Fire in North Park. Smash the window, and we can take it's it. It's right here, Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bull shot. Don't let him get away! Come back, you bastard! Come through the scene and now it's your suit. Here you go. Ah, oh, shit. 
We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Okay, so they saw me there. Please fuck off. If there's a patrol unit on the bridge, we're fucked. All officers, yes! Repeat a we're good. Search. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Cillieri had cops on the books. People said the Some way. street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How did it feel? Feel good? That felt good. How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? There's life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I yeah, doubt that every day that. you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. Like busy days, it's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by, and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now, and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family, you had to have more connections. Your brother, or your uncle, or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss. Then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. Gone. Well, why? Deal with it. Spoiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a, up a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. Oh, there's another thing in here. Super science stories. It's like old comics. Yeah, I'm coming, Paulie. I just found a comic that looks cool, okay? Because comics are cool, right? Where's he gone? I'm sorry, I'm not looking. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. We're back. It's done. No trouble? No. Nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad... You get stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. 
We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. Shit. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. Loyalty. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. Boom. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're going to be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. Thank you, Frank. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. Welcome in, no skills. We just completed chapter three, the Molotov party. Hope you're doing well today. We're about hour 50 minutes in no not about an hour and 50 about 50 minutes to an hour in because we had some small teething problems at the start where the game wouldn't load for the first half hour and i had to fix it all 